Hey welcome back tubers, what I thought I'd do is a tip of the day video. Now what I've got here is some 18650 holders. This type here, the spring, I would never ever buy and if you've got them you'll you'll soon know that they're pretty rubbish compared to this type here. This one here is the type without the spring and the cell sits in there really nicely and can be plugged, uh, pushed in and pulled out quite easily. However what you'll see on these holders is this middle indent part here is quite high and what you'll find is that when you put your 18650 cell in there which we'll just do quickly you'll find that it sits in there nice and easily you don't have the problems that you would do with this one here with that silly spring and the connection on the positive however it sits nicely perfect holder however what you'll find a problem with is putting the cell out it can be very very difficult to actually get the cell out normally um, what you'd find is that if you get a screwdriver and you poke the screwdriver in behind it and you can wedge the cell out however that's a real painful and annoying way to do it especially if you're using it for your charging circuits so what you'll see here is I've got all these set up on the wall now you'll notice a difference between these two sets of charging circuits you've got I've got the first set where I've got um, where I've cut out all the middle endings because you don't actually need them the bottom set down here you s you'll see that they're still there you, what you'll find if I just grab an 18650 cell if I put them into here it is so easy to just put, put them in and pull them out that's what you want nice and simple they still connect really well with the top and bottom they just don't have the side um, bracket or the side um, piece of plastic so what I would suggest tip of the day is to cut all those out what I've used to do that for myself is one of these multi um, rotary tools I think they're called Dremels or something like that as well but one of these tools you can change the the blade part at the top and what I do is I just cut all these out so what I'll do quickly is I'll just do that to the bottom ones and you'll see how easy it is but what you'll find is that without these little plastic clip things in the middle things just work so much easier well right, as you'll see that it's all nice and flat I can tidy it up a little bit later I've missed a couple of spots but either way it's pretty damn good so now you can take your 18650 cell pull it in and out with ease and without any troubles uh, while replacing the cells on your charges or normally um, however you use your 18650 holders anyway thought I'd do a quick little video on that little hint and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks guys